Hello and welcome back, I'm Beeble Joe and today I'm gonna fix this Republic. It is full of crime. And that's the problem. If you ever had this problem of your police stations just being a scroll of crime all over the place and nothing gets done, this episode will help you. First of all, obviously, thanks for Peter for sending me this. Danke, Peter. Um, it's very helpful. And this is a very common problem that I see and hear and read a lot in several different forums. So let's talk about it. Crime and justice. Crime and justice consists of several buildings. The first one is a police station, a courthouse, and a prison. That's it. Those three. You may think. However, if you look at them a little closer, um, they need regular workers and higher educated workers, okay? That will be very, very important. But very simple, right? So you plop down a police station, and the police station is, is supposed to take care of any crime that happens in its area of influence or in its reach, okay? Um, it can reach the crime via vehicles. If you don't give it vehicles, it will not uh, take any crimes on, but um, this is what it's supposed to do. And that's fine. It looks like there's a lot of range here. And if we look at our overviews um, and look at the actual police stations, where are you? There you are. We have a police station here, another police station here, also overloaded. It's a smaller one, but it's also overloaded. We have a police station being built here. We have another police station right here, also completely full. Another police station there, and so on. There's another police station right here. So there are plenty of police stations, and this is not the only city that is on this map. Oh, did I get lost? I did get lost. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> cool. Uh, it's not the only police station on this map because we have another small one here and another big one here. All right. And Peter told me um, he thinks this map, this safe, is destined for the graveyard. This Republic is not going to survive. Let's look at the stats. Our stats are 64% happiness, not terrible, not great, okay? 60 70%, if you can hold it there, your Republic survives, that's fine. Government loyalty, 32%, not great in combination with low happiness. Health, 86%, okay, that's fine. Unemployment, 4%, that's actually excellent, um, because most of them are due to a small child, so just a kindergarten being unavailable, that's, that's really cool. Um, and a couple due to low edu uh, education. That's fine. Let's look at the actual uh, population statistic. We have 19,000 people. Cool. Um, 4,000 of them uneducated. That is all children here. And, um, well, a little less than the children. But you also have these. So there's somewhere in the middle of these is how many people you have uneducated. That can be okay, but... This number is probably a little too low. Only 4,000 university educated people. That hurts, that hurts. How are universities doing? They're fine, but they are um, clipped, meaning they're not at max uh, occupancy. And um, that's that's not always the greatest, but that's fine. It's, honestly, I, I don't think it's terribly complicated to get about 50% of your citizens educated to a 2.0 or higher level. And that's something you should strive for because that makes what I'm going to do next a lot easier. Um, okay, there are a couple more things that we have to understand. Actually, no, there are no more things we have to understand. I will just tell you there are two ways to fix this. Exactly two ways, and I will talk about both of them. First, the complicated way. But this is going to be something that you have to do regardless. First, we have to understand how many people can a large police station serve. I don't have an exact number, but don't be disappointed. I know that a police station is generally required once you have 5,000 people in a uh, in your republic in the beginning. Um, I know it's not supposed to hit full strength until 12,000 people, but at 5,000, you want to get a police station. Um, once you get a police station, make sure that you have a court and a prison as well, because if you only have a police station, it's not going to do anything. They're just going to find the people and say, you committed a crime. Bye. Um, instead of, you committed a crime, you're going to court. And then uh, in court they're saying, you committed a crime, we're sentencing you, but we don't have a prison, so sorry about that. So, you see, you, you need the whole chain, otherwise it doesn't matter. And that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is, so, at 5,000 people you need a prison. Uh, sorry, a police station and everything else. Um, once you have a police station, it's usually five to 12,000 people 
can be handled by one large police station in a normal republic, okay? This is not a normal republic. If we look at our statistics, more than half of our crimes didn't get investigated. That translates to these crime cases will just sit there forever and nothing gets going. As you can see, chance to solve this one is pretty low because uh, we don't have any more time left. We are at the um, statute of limitation. We have reached the statute of limitation, which is just a time limit that said that if you don't investigate it in that time, um, you effectively get away with it, okay? That is, that is what we're seeing here. Police actually gets to all the crime scenes, so they have enough capacity, enough vehicles, enough reach that every crime gets investigated. That is wonderful. I know it says three, but... Um, that's effectively nothing, so that's fine. So, court did not issue a verdict on 104. Huh, that on the first look doesn't look bad, but the court doesn't have any cases. Okay, that's that's a problem. There's one courthouse here, and we're going to scroll over to the upper city, and there's another courthouse here. No cases get here, and that is why that, um, that building was just saying it didn't not sentence any crimes, but that does not mean it's sentencing all crimes because if the these crimes don't leave the police station, they're not making it to the courthouse. So effectively, the courthouse is underutilized because the police station's overrun. Okay, so that's the first thing. That well, or a couple things that we have to understand. How many courthouses do you need? Uh, play it by ear. I would say one every four police stations maybe approximately but this is assuming that you have normal a normal criminal rating i'm going to show you this this house has a criminal rating of 27 this one has 21 this one has 22 this one has 27 again this one has just 20 this one has 20. um i think the highest i've seen when i clicked through earlier was 30. and now you ask yourself what is high what is low well Best criminal rate is 0%. That's what you want. High criminal rating is like 7 8% and higher. We are plenty beyond that. What does this really mean? That means that almost everyone in your republic has some criminal history or some crim criminal rating. I want to I see one that has like a 60 or higher. Haven't seen one yet. 13%. That's these are all relatively high, 32%, but they're not as high as I thought I would see in here, but that is fine. What's going on? Well, we have a prison over here. That, that's important too. In the prison, um, you have to understand that there are there's a ratio that you shouldn't get past. One to one ratio is great. One to two ratio of wardens to prisoners is acceptable. And anything more than that, you need another prison. This prison, the vanilla prison, is laid out to allow one warden to three prisoners, but to make that work well, your wardens have to be amazing, which is rarely happening if your prison is full, <laughs> okay? Just understand that you cannot have good wardens in your republic if your prison is always full, because that means there's a lot of crime going around. So that's the first thing. And then... Um, there are some sliders that can actually affect a lot of things. And I'm going to look at the courthouse and the prison at the same time here. Uh, the sliders are this. Sentences for crimes. This is shared for all courthouses. However, in the prison, these sliders are per prison building. So they're not shared. Okay, what do we have going on here? For a minor crime, you get two and a half years. For a medium crime, double that. And for a serious crime, double that again. I don't think these are the vanilla values, but we're gonna work with them. These are pretty simply put way too high. Way, 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 way too high. Why is that? Because every day that a prisoner is in prison, they get these um, effects applied to their statistics every single day. Okay, what does that mean? Well, if we look at this guy with 97% crime, um, you, you're supposed to be here for 11 years. That is okay. As long as this number is always negative, as in green, that is fine. But we also, I'm gonna change this because I find if you add culture in there, you get a little bit of happiness in there and that helps. And that also helps you get the, the, get the crime rate down because these are the numbers that I like to use. Um, there's, there's nothing else happening there, but 
as long as this number is like green and where, where it's supposed to be, this should be fine for 11 years. But um, if we have this number ever being red, and I let this run for a little bit earlier, and this number turns red relatively often, that is not helpful. That is related to how many prisoners we have here versus how many wardens. Right now we have a one to almost a one to three ratio, and you can see this number just dipped below something. So now we're at four, uh, one to four ratio. <laughs> Great. And these numbers are all terrible now. Uh, what that means is every prisoner that is in prison now will have an a net negative effect on the criminality rating that they have, plus negative effects on everything else, especially loyalty and happiness, that the longer they are in prison, the worse it is for them. And that's that's what's really happening here, and that's what looks like is happening a lot, because this and the numbers up here, 290 prisoners escaped last year, 59 prisoners escaped this year, is telling me that we're just not giving the prisoners what they need, and that is not helping. So um, that's the first thing. If prisoners are in prison for too long, they um, become more criminal. Okay, that that should make some sense. It's taken right from the real life, right? Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe not. But so let's look. Let's look what happens here. You got ninety-seven percent. You're gonna get half a percentage point higher. You may see that jump, or maybe just a rounding error where it doesn't jump. But let, let's see. Sixteen hours. Give me something. And next day, there we go, 98%. It just increased again. And this one is now plus 3%, so it's even worse. But they just dropped off some uh, some workers here, so it should be better. But overall, this is bad. You don't want prisoners in prison and increase their criminality. And that's the first thing. So something that you have to do is you have to make sure that this prison gets as many workers as possible. We have a couple buses here, so I'm just going to use them, um, assign them to this place load them and unload them right here and get a couple extra buses on that route because we have them let them run set this one set this one i don't think we have an end station here so i'm just going to set up the line spacing right away cool that should help but that is not all the next problem is you don't want citizens to stay in prison for longer than they need to how long do they have to stay until when they hit criminality rating of zero percent they are effectively no longer a threat to your republic, so you should let them go. Um, to do that, you have to time things out. I just told you that every day they sit in prison, they get the statistics applied to them that you see. If you pay attention to keeping your prison staffed well, these numbers should be relatively static. They, they may still move, and that's fine, but overall, they should be very predictable in what you get. So if you know that for example, you usually get a, a negative 3% on criminality rating, then you know the worst possible criminal that you have, let's call it 96% because that's right in front of us right now, the worst possible pr criminal that you have at 3%, a decrease of criminality every day that they're in prison, needs how many days to be healed? Just a little over a month. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, there's some randomization in here, but it doesn't take that long. So the cry, the sentences that we have here with super long years, super long years, and super long years are too long. They don't get the, the effect that we just talked about every single day applied because there are other factors at play. But 10 years is way too long. If someone is a super criminal, 10 years is too long. So numbers that I like to use, something very low, something a little lower and then for the worst ones this um these are not static numbers that i use all the time but this is what i would start with and then look at your prisoners look at your prison when they actually leave every once in a while you want to go here and just check them out hey when you are leaving the prison and none of these are going to leave for a very long time uh what are your values if your values are too high still then you adjust your sentences it's very simple very straightforward you just have to do it every once in a while. Okay, uh, why do we have to change the, uh, the sentences? Because if a prisoner stays in prison for too long and nobody leaves, you will always have your prisons overflowing and that is not helpful. Okay, in this Republic, we have one prison. Uh, why do I say that? Because I looked that up earlier and we only have one prison. There's no prison over here. We have 19,000 people. In general, that is totally, totally fine. In our case, because all cities have really high criminality rating, that is not enough. So 
to do what we want to do, we actually have to add a lot of uh, a lot of uh, prisons and other buildings. Okay. Yes. Um, let's go to the next thing, and this is this is why this is the hard part. We have 17 million in the bank, 16 and a half. We don't have any current loans. That's great. Um, but I can tell you that this is not a lot, uh, enough money. <laughs> we, we are. This is this is not enough money by far, especially if we're going to build that uh, auto build everything. So. We know that this police station is completely overran and we have to clean up all of these cases. If you want to go crazy, you could, I'm going to ask Peter this actually, you could count all of the cases that are in here because that should give you a clue how many police stations you need. A police station is capable of handling 10 to 20 cases at the same time. Once you go past that number, it's a very low likelihood that your police station will actually solve anything. And that is what you need to avoid. You need your police station to actually work. The police station needs two things to actually work. Three things. It needs police, uh, police staff, police officers, and the right number of cases to be effective. All of these are important, okay? I don't, I don't know what the exact ratio is, but if you don't have any workers here, especially no educated workers, higher educated workers, you're not getting anything done. So, um, let's see. I counted these up really quick. I really didn't. Um, but what we're going to do is add eight police stations to this tiny town of 6,000 people, okay? The police station is supposed to handle five to 12,000. We're going to add eight police stations to this one. We are going to add three police stations here, one police station here, and we're going to complete the police stations that are in this city and add a couple extra ones. Okay. And then we're, we're going to try to see how it works. Why am I saying it like that? Because I've already done it and I want to show you the results. Okay. Here we are. Um, just a little bit past where we were before. Look at the money. It's not good, but there are our eight extra police stations and at this point they're still overflowing this part of the city cannot keep up with everything that's going on you see how much crime we have in the city too much i keep trying to just delete half of the half of the cases but they just keep coming up and for a while i could not figure out what the problem was and then it dawned on me while i was building these police stations we didn't we we have we had more and more um higher educated people leave i invited a lot of them which is why most of our money is gone i i invited a lot of them into the big buildings that we have but every single one five of them cost a hundred thousand every single time um and that is wiping us dry and uh, cleaning us out what well, that, that was a weird turn of phrase i'm not going to use that again um yeah it's draining our bank account and that is not very helpful in addition to that, our happiness and loyalty is low, so average productivity is low, which also affects the police station. None of that is good or helpful. Um, so yeah, we, we plopped, oh, I plopped an extra one over here too, and all of them have the same problem. This city in general, let's look at this, does not have enough educated people. It has about a quarter, which is not terrible, but it's not enough to keep everything staffed all the time. Um, so something that I'm gonna do, is remove all the court hearings here and as you can see this courthouse is slightly overflowing too because now we have so many police stations actually sending cases out here that it's not helping um, because of that i added um where is it there is one more courthouse here and another courthouse here so adding a bunch of justice crime and justice buildings should help and eventually you will hit a tipping point where is the tipping point but this city, that's right now, um, the police stations are actually running pretty well. They're running at the capacity that they have. And when I run this, the, the game forward, you can see that all of these numbers are actually moving. That's what we want. For this city over here, not so much because we don't have enough police officers available in this part of the city. And um, let's look at our money. <laughs> you remember earlier, I didn't have a loan. We had 60 million in the bank. Um, I borrowed 18 million already, okay? And we're still not much further. And our happiness has lowered just a little bit. So from here on, I, I knew that, well, we will have more criminals. So I actually moved the prison 
from the original location by the first city to here. And as you can see, it's doing okay. And the only thing that I really care about is that these numbers are positive enough where we have a good effect on our prisoners, which we do, which we do, which is great. And I also moved them here because this city was a little better situated in terms of criminality and happiness than the other city. So uh, the wardens here are a little better. Plus I put them in the city so the, um, the access to wardens is a little better. So it's gonna fix everything. Well, let's see. We are about two years after the last shot and we are just about to run out of money. So let's see how this is going. We've already borrowed 36 million, which is not great, but I'm gonna borrow a little more so we can pay back our stuff. Um, is this realistically, can we realistically pay all of this back? I don't know, I don't know. I haven't looked at the economy of this, this Republic. I know it was solvent before, and I know it was making a little bit of extra money, but I don't know if it can pay all of this back. But that's besides the point right now. Our happiness is back up to 71%. Government loyalty is still about the same. Our population is a little lower. So how have we fared? And this was one where I didn't interfere a lot. Well, still the same problem. We don't have enough educated people. Those are the ones that leave your Republic first. So this part of town is still not great. There's still a lot of crime going on and we can't solve it because we don't have the people to actually investigate those crimes. So all of these police stations, um, besides all of my trying, are still failing and our criminality is still so high because none of the cases actually get to court. If we look at the other cities though, over here, the list is shorter. It's not a lot shorter, but it's shorter. So this part of the city is not terrible and it's not completely lost. And if we look at the criminality rating, it is relatively high, so that is not great. Up here in Schwerin, um, looks a little different. These polices are doing just fine. Our criminality rating is in the upper single digit units and that is totally fine because that is working. What does that mean? The people that work in the courts actually have higher productivity. So if we look at, let's see, I have a uh, county hall right there. Our happiness is right here. Our productivity is 93, which means our wardens that work here are also working really well. 5% criminality decrease. 5% and get another one. Come on, another 5%er. Yeah, 5%. That's a lot. That means everyone that goes to court is actually, you can actually help them. And that is wonderful. That's a wonderful thing. Um, but because we still don't have enough educated people in this town, this town is kind of doomed. And if we look around, there are just not enough professors and we don't have enough money to fill up this town with more professors at this point. What happens in about half a year from now? We are half a year later and as you can see, we're completely out of money. I, I just let this run by itself and wanted to see if that works and we currently owe a lot of money in the rear already, which is wonderful, um, but we're not lost yet. So let's see if I can take out enough to pay at least the loan tomorrow, which now I can, perfect. Um, but look at this, our happiness is at 81%, government loyalty is at 35%. I didn't do anything. Besides, we lost another less than a thousand people, maybe. So what happened? Well, this city is pretty much dead. There's nobody here anymore. There, there are still some people, obviously, but overall, this city went from 6,000 to where is my, uh, my thing? I don't even have the, the numbers anymore, so uh, that's cool. <laughs> but I can tell you that this city... Is effectively dead but i explained that to you we didn't have enough educated people so now the city's done now we could start to reinvest into people here that are not complete criminals and if we do that um, we can actually save it how's it going over here it is similar picture as before when the city is not completely dead but it's moving that way it's currently moving in that direction that is well, good or bad, however you want to call that. But we have, we have, we still have some problems in this city, but it's catching up. However, Schwerin itself is not doing shabby at all. We still have some, some prisoners, but as you can see, nobody escaped this year and last year. That is, that is excellent to see. Oh, four, four escaped this one. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, but yeah, overall, we're, we're doing just fine. And everyone that actually makes it to prison will get cured. And that is important here. So yeah, what 
what's the fat seat? What, what, what is the, what, what, was, what did we learn here? I hope I showed that you need the full chain of the criminal justice buildings, which is a police station, a courthouse, and a prison. You need to set the crime uh, sentences to something reasonable that you can actually cure your citizens. And you need to make sure that you have enough warden and set your um, your sliders to something that definitely, definitely has to decrease criminality. The rest is not that important, but ideally increase your happiness and uh, decrease your criminality when they come out. That is what you want. That doesn't mean you can save everyone. Uh, you need enough officer and enough police and enough productivity to actually make it through um, the downside. And if you don't have those, which we didn't in the beginning, if we would have had 50% of people uh, maybe educated and 50% not, maybe that would be different. But at this point, we didn't have enough educated people. So this town just succumbed to uh, the crime that was happening here, which is just a natural thing that sometimes happens. So um yeah that's that 38 percent criminality yeah it's not going to go anywhere and again I, I did remove the prison from here so this was a hard way to do it and honestly because i tried to save everything we are completely bankrupt now i think i'm pretty sure if you let this city just die as is just turn it off um maybe even turn this city off just for a little while and just concentrate on shroin you will save this republic without spending too much money. Is that cruel? Absolutely. Is that something that anyone should ever do in real life? No, 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 it's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to fix this game. Uh, and yeah, that, that would get us there. That was totally, totally make everything fine. If you don't like that solution, here is the path, the much easier path, which with much, much less resistance that we can also follow. Thank you to magical loading of safes. We are back time traveling to 6, April 6, 1995, or 6. April 1995. And, and um, there's an easier way to do this. If you understand how crime and justice works, there are only a couple things that I need you to do before you do the step that makes this really easy. Reduce this to something reasonable, like, just like something I had before. And again, you can play with this. Make sure that at this point you have a reasonable amount of police and um, clear all the assignments. All of the assignments have to be cleared. Very important. Actually, I don't, I don't know if that's true. I will, I will double check that in just a second. Don't clear the assignments yet. Make sure that your prison has sufficient transport, sufficient personnel to actually do something. And I would like to leave the prison here if I can. So we're just going to set this thing up again um get me the buses there you go yeah i know we've done this already but that's fine get this one all moving so make sure that you have enough warden for for your setup that's very important and once you have done all those things and the last thing is make sure that your settings are appropriate so let's set this back to what i like 20 and 80. once you have all that done there's only one thing left to do pause the game c-h-e Press it at the same time. Cheat mode activated should come up. C-H-E. Like the first three letters of cheat mode, okay? Um, then you go into your settings. Then you go into general debug cheat menus like this. And then uh, I want to see if this works. Um, then you say reset citizen's crime level or increase citizen's crime level, depending what you want to do. Reset it. I just clicked a fancy button and now all the crime for everyone in the Republic is effectively zero just from clicking that. However, as you can see, the crimes themselves are still being investigated. So you still have to clear these cues, these backlogs. But at this point, if you reset your Republic and you clear out all the police stations, you can continue playing. You made a mistake. That is fine. This game is full of mistakes. If you don't want to use the cheat mode, I don't blame you. I don't like using the cheat mode because anytime I do, it just becomes one of those free balls where I just want to do that again and again when something gets hard and that is not really part of this. But this game is complicated enough and it's only going to get more complicated that it is okay to take an easy out every once in a while. So if you want to keep all 19,000 of your Republic instead of only 13,000, this is the path that you should go. So clear out all of your police stations from crime and you should see, and I'm just going to do it in this city because I don't want to do it in the other one. 
Uh, give me a second. Okay, both of those are completely empty now and they have staff, that's important. So it's let the game run forward, even on double speed. Um, what you should see is that the crimes that are coming in should not overwhelm everything. If we look at the person that did this, sorry, these values show up because we have the cheat menu on. It's just disable cheats, very easy. You can also just press CHE so we don't have all the extra values in there. But um, this person, what did you do? You, it doesn't even tell me. It's a serious crime though, so they're investigating. But I expect the numbers, the investigation numbers to actually complete, even with the citizens that we have right now that don't have in average high productivity. But all of these numbers should move up as well as here and actually take care of things. As you can see, we're not filling up anymore, which is exactly what I want to see here. So you know that we are in a state now where crime is not going to overrun your republic anymore. And this number already increased by one, uh, one percentage point, and it's just going to keep increasing. So if you don't want to go down the hard route of effectively killing this city, in addition to this city and only concentrating on this city, then that is what you have to do. If you, if you don't want to do that, well, then you have other ways too. Don't forget, sorry, my dog got too warm. Um, don't forget that you have to, you have the ability to tell your cities, and I'm trying to find the city name of this city. It's Heuthusen. Of course, of course it is. You can tell them to not move in. And I wouldn't be surprised if that also counts for criminals when they come back from prison. So... Um, to summarize, there are two ways to fix this republic in the state that it's currently in. And I'm talking about a state where we had criminality in the 20s and higher, um, and that's bad. The first way, you can spend an exorbitant, if you have a lot of money, you can do this. Sorry, there are three ways now. Three ways. There you go. If you have a lot of money, uh, the first thing that you can do is build as many police stations as you can until those police stations no longer get overrun and those police stations need enough police officers to work. So you probably have to build police stations um, in addition to residential buildings, in addition to utilities that those residents need. That's the first thing. You can build a ton. As you saw, I built nine extra for this town of 6,000 people and that was not enough. So if you want to go that route, be prepared to spend a lot of money. Um, same thing over here. And yeah, you can just do that and then you wait a year or two and eventually those police stations should um, free up a little bit, but you have to make sure that in the meantime you build enough courthouses to also handle all the cases that those police stations then bring to court. Very important. Um, always make sure that your prison is well staffed and well um, filled. So if it's, if it's too full, you have to build another prison. The second option is Concentrate on your best current city, which in this case would have been Schwerin. In Schwerin, you could have just said, okay, I need to concentrate on just getting them through. And this is the bigger city, which means you keep at least half of your Republic. And that is maybe worth something because then you can just refill the city that effectively lost everyone. And that's probably cheaper than trying to build all the police stations, all the vehicles, all the extra citizens that you need to even save the citizens that exist. Um, that's the second option. And then obviously the third one, you can use the cheat mode. Um, it doesn't have to come to the cheat mode if you do two things. Set the um, sentences for the lower crime or for the crimes well, and make sure that your prison is working then you should never get in a situation where you get overrun by crime. Um, yeah, one police station for every five to 12,000 citizens, depending on how big the city is. Just make sure that works and that they can reach everything that you care about. And that's that. Here's a bonus that we can talk about. Government loyalty is 32%. And this, this has not much to do with crime. But we have a police, uh, sorry, we have a TV tower or TV station right there. And we have a radio right here. Why? Why is our loyalty so low? We know that you can use a TV or a radio station to increase your loyalty, but this loyalty is surprisingly low. What is the problem? Well, first we look at what's going on here. Our actual bonus for a TV station is actually really good. It's 5%. Wow. 
that is wonderful. That's the loyalty extra that you get every day when you listen to this TV station or when you watch it. However, um, what is our reach? Our TV station reach is up to 2,376 people. 19% of the population have a television. That is not good. Currently listening, less than 100 people. In a republic of 20,000, that is a drip on a hot stone. Drip of water on a hot stone. I don't think that's what the saying is. And that's nothing. Over here on the radio station, you have a lot more and a much higher population that has a radio. That is what you need to look for. So if you look here or if you look in our population statistics and see how many do have electronics. This one, 6,335, that's the same number, have a radio. That means those are your potential listeners to this radio station. Only 2,300 have a TV, which is clearly a lot less. And this one is telling you that is 20% of your population. So when you build a TV tower or a radio station, you have to make sure that your population is either or because they're not going to do both. They're going to listen to the radio or watch TV. They're not going to do both at the same time. So something else that you can do here is get rid of the TV station just for loyalty reasons and send more workers to the radio station because the, the ratings, everything that you have set up here is working pretty well. You just have to make sure it actually has workers and it's actually working. So then you should increase your loyalty as well. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, crime and justice, build the whole chain, make sure that police stations aren't overrun, make sure that your sentences are reasonable, that actually reduce crime when they're done with it and are not too long that you overload your prisons with more than you need. Very important. And then your prisons themselves have to work. You don't want to get past the ratio of one to two and make sure that the sliders are set to something that at least reduces criminality. The rest is bonus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped someone. It was fun to figure out. It was a, it was a two day project really, um, but I think I got there in the end and now everything is fine and we can be happy again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This should work on all difficulty settings. This game specifically is set on reasonable. It's not on the hardest, but at this point you could set it back to hardest and that's fine. Also seasons is disabled just because there were problems. So uh, just be aware of that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, or if you have a Republic that has a problem that you want me to look at and see if I can fix it, please send it to me because this is a nice little puzzle that I love doing. So if you just want to fabricate a problem and send it to me, that's totally fine too. I don't mind. Uh, just send it to me via Discord. That's the easiest one. It's all down in the description. Um, and that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.